Now we will see the questions of additional question bank. First question is the value of 6 raised to the power minus 1 into 7 square upon 6 square into 7 raised to the power minus 4 whole raised to the power 7 by 2 into 6 to the power minus 2 into 7 to the power 3 upon 6 to the power 3 into 7 to the power minus 5 whole to the power minus 5 upon 2 is options given to us are 0, 252, 250 and 248. Now here we see that the base of indices is given either 6 or 7. So we will be clubbing the terms of base 6 and base 7. First we will see the first bracket. Here it is 6 to the power minus 1 and here it is 6 to the power 2. So when this 2 will go on the top it will be minus 2 and 6 to the power will become minus 3. So here the first term has 6 to the power minus 3. So if we see the terms of 7 base then here it is 2 and here it is minus 4. When minus 4, 4 will go on the top it will become plus 4. So the power will become 2 plus 4 which is equal to 6. So into 7 to the power 6 and whole to the power 7 upon 2. When we see the second bracket 6 has power minus 2 and 6 has power minus 3. When 3 will go on the top it will become minus 3. So 6 will have power as minus 5 into 7 and here if we see the term of 7 power is 3 power here in the denominator is minus 5 when minus 5 will go on the top it will change its sign it will become plus 5 so 7 will have power as 8 3 plus 5 it will be 8 and the whole power minus 5 upon 2 the question reduces to this. Now we know in the theory of indices that if we have a to the power m to the power n then this becomes a to the power m into n. That is here minus 3 will be multiplying 7 upon 2. So this becomes 6 to the power 3 into 7 minus 21 upon 2. This will become and if we multiply 6 by 7 by 2, it will be 6 into 7 by 2. This cancels. This will become 3 into 7 which is equal to 21. So 7 will have power 21. Next, when we see in the second bracket, minus 5 will be multiplying minus 5 upon 2. So it will be plus 25 upon 2. So 6 has power 25 upon 2 into 7 7 has power 8 here which will be multiplying minus 5 upon 2 so 8 is multiplied by 5 upon 2 of course with minus sign this becomes 4 into 5 that is 20 so 7 has power minus 20 this is what we are obtaining now in multiplication we know the powers are added. If the base is same powers are added. So minus 21 upon 2 plus here the power of 6 is 25 upon 2. 2 is LCM minus 21 plus 25 which is equal to 4 upon 2 that is 2. So 6 has power 2 into 7 has power 21 here minus 20 here so 7 will have power 1 that is equal to 7. So 6 to the power 2 is 36 and 7 will come as it is so this comes to 252 and hence here the option B is the correct option. Question number 2 is the value of this expression is options are 1, minus 1, 0, D is none. We see that in the expression we have either the base as x or base as z. So we will be first talking of the terms which have base as x. 
x here the power is 2 by 7 in multiplication power is 2 by 5 so in multiplication powers will be added so plus 2 by 5 here the power is minus 9 by 7 again it is added here we see the power in denominator is minus 3 by 5 when it will go in the top power will become positive because we know that 1 upon a to the power minus m is a to the power m power will become plus when it goes on the top so here power will be of positive sign it will be plus 3 upon 5 now in denominator we see the terms which have base as z so here z to the power minus 1 upon 2 multiplication is there so power will be added it will be plus 2 by 3 again it will be plus 2 by 3 in numerator we find the term of z which has power 5 by 6 so we know that if we have a to the power m then it can be written as 1 upon a to the power minus m that is the uh, that is the power will have change in its sign so when 5 by 6 will come in the denominator it will become of negative sign so it will be minus 5 by 6 this is the expression in the in its reduced form now we will be solving this fraction and we will be solving these fractions so first it is x to the power now we have here LCM as 35 5 multiplied by 2 gives us 10 plus 7 multiplied by 2 14 minus 9 into 5 45 plus 7 into 3 21 upon z to the power LCM is 6 again it will be minus 3 2 multiplied by 2 is plus 4 plus 4 and minus 5 solve it we obtain x to the power 10 plus 14 plus 21 minus 45 x to the power 0 upon z to the power 8 minus 8 is 0 upon 6 which is 0 and we know that a to the power 0 is equal to 1 any number any real number which has power as 0 is equal to 1 so this is equal to 1 upon 1 that is equal to 1 so here the value of the expression is 1 our option a is the correct option question number 3 is the simplification of this expression reduces options are minus 1 0 1 and 10 first we see the expression and its numerator part base here is 2 base here is 3 base here is 5 and base here is 6 6 can be broken into 2 into 3 so here 6 can be written with the base 2 and base 3 so the numerator becomes 2 raised to the power x plus 3 as it is into 3 to the power 2x minus y as it is into 5 to the power x plus y plus 3 into 2 to the power y plus 1 into 2 to the 3 to the power y plus 1 what we have done we have written 6 as 2 into 3 and when 6 has power y plus 1 2 will have power y plus 1 and 3 will have power y plus 1 upon now we see the denominator part here we have again base as 6 so I can write it 2 to the power x plus 1 into 3 to the power x plus 1 again I have written 6 as 2 into 3 
So power of 2 will be x plus 1, power of 3 will be x plus 1. Now here the base is 10. 10 can be written 2 into 5. So this means 10 to the power y plus 3 can be written as 2 to the power y plus 3 into 5 to the power y plus 3 into now here it is 15 to the power x now 15 can be written 3 into 5 so with the same analogy with the same rule we can write 3 to the power x into 5 to the power x the expression becomes like this now we will be clubbing the powers of same base base here is 2 base here is 2 powers will be added in multiplication so it will be 2 to the power x plus 3 plus y plus 1. So it will be x plus y plus 4. Again, the powers with the base 3 is 2x minus y. Here it is y plus 1. So 3 will have power 2x minus y plus y plus 1. And 5 will have power x plus y plus 3 upon here base is 2 and here base is 2 so 2 to the power x plus y plus 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4 into 3 to the power x plus 1 plus x means 2x plus 1 5 will have power y plus 3 plus x. So I can write x plus y plus 3. Now here when we see the numerator and denominator 2 has power x plus y plus 4. Here also it is x plus y plus 4. So it can be cancelled. y and y here are cancelled. So 3 has power 2x plus 1. Here also it has 2x plus 1. It can be cancelled. 5 has power x plus y plus 3. Here it also has x plus y plus 3. So this is also cancelled. We get 1. The value of the expression is 1. So here option C is the correct option.